Okay, so hi guys and welcome back. In this video we take a look at the 5.8 GHz FPV artifact by Cheetang for HS14+. Plus. So what is it? Let's take it out of the box and we can see that it seems to be an oversized wristwatch. Well, it's actually an FPV wristwatch which lets you watch 32 FPV channels right on your wrist. So this is what we have in the box here. First the watch itself with its little monitor and below that it shows the band and channel uh, which it's tuned into. It also shows if it's getting charged or not. Here we have an USB charge port and a little antenna which we can clip out. And here on the other side we have the channel button and of course the power button. Short press the channel button to change the channel and long press it to change the band. It's as easy as that. Before we dive deeper into the watch itself, let's take a look what else we got here. First we have a standard charging USB cable. Then we have the manual here which we go through quickly. Just pause if you want to read something in more detail. Here we can see it's a D909 model, which sounds a bit like Terminator. <laughs> Here we see some basic specs. Use 5 volts for charging, it needs around 50 minutes for charging and will then work for around 60 minutes on a 300 mAh 3.7 volts 1S LiPo. If you need more time, I guess you can simply use a power bank or similar to charge it while you're using it. As you can see, there is nothing really new to it when it comes to the manual. We already went through all the basic functions before. So, but now let's get into action. <laughs> let's take a closer look at the antenna. As you can see, you can simply clip it out and you will also see your, your standard whip antenna in there. You can also put it upwards, which looks nice and really compact. Let's put it on now. You can wear it just like an oversized watch. Let's turn it on by simply pressing the power button for some seconds. We can see that it works nice and it seems to actually be a snowflake screen, which is, which is great. With a short click of the channel button, you can change the channels, as you can see. And with a long uh, click, uh, you can uh, change the band. That works pretty well, so let's go outside and see it in action. We are on our flying field here to see how well this works in real life. And surprisingly, it's working pretty well. As you can see, one can nicely see all the details on the little screen and also the reception seems to be very good given the small web antenna. I am using a 25 milliwatts video transmitter on my small microcopter here and there are almost no interferences, even if I fly away a farther distance. So this is working great, actually much better than I would have imagined. Really, really nice. But now for the most important question, uh, I think, what the hell should you use it for? <laughs> is it just a cheap toy or is there an actual use to it? Well, I, I have a few use cases where I used it to maybe give you an idea. First, my girlfriend loves it. We take it with us every time we go flying with friends and she really likes to just be able to casually watch our flying while actively chatting with my other buddy's girlfriends. Uh, the watch seems to be just right to not keep her from her main task of constantly chatting to the other girls while still being able to keep up with us flying. So that's one use case I guess and well, <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> Another use case is when I go uh, to watch uh, FPV races of friends. I love to be able to just tap into their feet without carrying a full FPV set or similar. So for spectating, spectating they are very nice. It is very nice and useful. The only disadvantage here is that uh, it lacks race band and auto scan. That's a pity. Another 
awesome but absolutely not FPV related use case is that a friend actually uses this watch as a monitor for his baby monitoring system. He has a 5.8 uh, GHz baby monitor system which apparently uses the same frequencies as we do for FPV. And when he's walking around the house or in the garden, he uses this watch to keep up with what his toddler is up to. Pretty awesome and a pretty great reason to buy the watch. <laughs> so let's conclude. This is a very nice, I would say even a great little gadget. It works nice and there are some use cases where I actually use it. So all in all, for just 40 USD I can really suggest it. Well, it's not really breaking the bank, you know. Hope you liked this video and if you did, well, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Many thanks for watching and see you next time.